All right, so I'm, I'm making this video because when I bought this uh, model skimmer, I had I couldn't find any help on setting it up uh, via with a pump or a hang-on or the hang-on way. Um, so this is just what I found. Um, so this is day three of it running, and we're already getting some uh, nice thick skim made out of here. Um, so when, this is a, the Coral Life 125G Super Skimmer. Uh, a little OP for this tank, uh, but once I move out of this house, I'm uh, designing a sump, which it's already designed. Just gotta, just gotta get the, the new tank and everything, and I'll be building that. But for right now, I'm just doing a hang on, the hang on way. Uh, so one quick modification that I did do um, was I put a 45 uh, degree tubing right there. I got rid of that flex tube, because that was just a real pain for me. And then I kept that this, that um, this media right here. I kept that, but I just zip tied it to the end of the 45. You know, the instructions say that you have to keep about a quarter inch of it above the water. You don't. Um, look, I mean, if you look at my tank, I have, I have no micro bubbles in there. You will have a lot of micro bubbles for the first couple days. Um, I know it makes your tank look really crappy, but trust me, once your skimmer breaks in, the micro bubbles will go away. Um, so I recently just did a water change on here. Uh, it was about a 15% water change. And like like a lot of complaints online, my skimmer cup was just filling up with big bubbles and just, just liquid, not really foam. This right here, which was sucks was what sucks air in uh, down to your pump and into your venturi, I believe that's what they call it. That for some reason really, really gets easily clogged. I don't know if it's due to salt creep or what, but all I did was just pull off the end and then just lift out of the water and blew really, really, really hard into there. Um, another thing you can do is if your pump is strong enough and if you're not getting the right uh, air to water mixture, uh, run a really strong air pump. So right now I've got a little little air coming out of here. Uh, I use that to kind of prime it sometimes, but other than that, I haven't really touched it in about three hours and it, it's running really, really good right now. So yeah, that's that's what I recommend. Uh, don't get discouraged with the, the 125 and the the 65s, I think, I think it's 65 some of you guys run. Uh, you will have a lot of micro bubbles to start with. Do not worry about it. Do not pay that close attention to the instructions. Just kind of do your own thing and you're going to get a nice, nice frothy skimmy like this. And this is still wet yet. I mean, I haven't really gotten into the big, I mean, you see some chunks are going up there. But I haven't really gotten to the really thick black crap yet. But other than that, you know, the tank is nice and clean, nice and happy. Yeah, any questions, let me let me know. I'll be happy to answer because like I said, I had I had no no help on this particular skimmer at all. So yeah. Thanks guys.